What is up, y'all? How are you doing this afternoon? What is cracking like it? Well, I hope y'all uh, liked the video I finally got out of the little major hike here. Actually had a lot of fun that day. I'm trying to find some more. We're trying to find some more stuff to do down here like that in Florida, you know. <coughs> Yeah, we had a blast that day, you know. That's the first time I've ever seen uh, wild hogs come out. You know what I mean? Not even paid no mind. Most of the time, them some bitches try to attack you, you know. But, alright. Well, reason why I came on to do this video this afternoon, this video is going to be about uh telemarketers yay i love telemarketers yay not <laughs> well you know i could never take a job being one of telemarketers but you know there are ones that actually you call them instead of them calling you like that wouldn't be too bad is where like you work and they call you for like if you have a problem with your credit card or you know your bank or you know whatnot but them ones wouldn't be too bad but the ones where you call people no no for one i'm not getting cussed out for something that ain't my fault <laughs> you know and, you know, like, we, the people, we, you know, I mean, we don't think about it, but it ain't the telemarketer's fault that they're calling you. It's actually the computer. Their computer picks the people to call, you know what I mean? Like, they don't go down the line and say, oh, uh, no, yep, 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 oh, there's uh, Dwayne John. I'm going to call him. No, they don't do that. The computer picks up. It comes on Joe George. You know what I mean? I'm calling him. That's what the computer does. You know, you're, this is who you're calling. <clears throat> and, um, see, here's a couple of things with these telemarketers nowadays, man. For one, they need to fix their computers to where the computer I think it already knows like you know if they're based out of California you know and it's you know it's uh nine o'clock in California it's like midnight here you know what I mean so whenever you're out there in California that damn computer shouldn't be called people in Pennsylvania yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. But because, you know what? The wife, you got a call the other night at, you know, midnight 30. Midnight 30. Eh, that's what I'm gonna call for now, midnight 30. But 12.30 in the morning. You know what I mean? That is ridiculous. Straight up ridiculous. You know, if she would have, uh, if she would have heard that phone and answered it, I'd hate to be on a, that some bitch on that other end of that line, you know what I mean? Because I tell you what, she'd have been one mad son of a bitch, man. Woo! <laughs> Especially when she gets up at 5, 5 a.m., you know, every night. Well, not every night, but you know what I mean, every morning to go to work. Besides the weekends, but that's, you know, I mean, that's besides the point. She's up early anyway, you know. Uh, my old lady, she, uh, I don't know how she does it sometimes, man. She gets up at 5 a.m., goes to work, comes home. She don't get home till around 7 o'clock. And then, listen, she will work at home until you know eight nine o'clock and then she'll take a shower and get ready for bed she's crazy man crazy but i mean 
at least I know I got a clean house, live with somebody got OCD, right? <laughs> yeah, that's another conversation. But uh, anyway, yeah, she got that call at 12.30 a.m. She woke up. Uh, we was riding, uh, we was heading to work. I think I think they call it Thursday, yeah, because I was taking her to work Friday morning, and she said, look at this. Do you believe the one of them damn telemarketers called me at 12.30 a.m.? I'm like, holy shit, that's crazy. Like a couple days before, they called her at 8.30 in the evening. Listen, I think that's too late. You know what I mean? If you're calling me about something about business or whatnot, listen, don't call me past like five o'clock, man. <laughs> do not call me past five o'clock. I do not give a shit. You know, if you ain't one of my friends or family, you call me past five o'clock, your ass is getting an earful. I'm telling you that right now. But, uh, I don't know, Ben. Of course, I left my other camera at home, you know what I mean? Just get it. I put it all together, man. It's all working and everything, and then I leave the some bitch at home. That was wrong with me, you know? <laughs> but anyway, we will yell at them telemarketers for calling us. And like I said, it's not their fault. You know, they don't pick who they call. But, you know, if it was me, and I see my computer, and I'm in California, and I see my computer call somebody in Pennsylvania, and it's already 8, 30, 9 o'clock over in California, I'm going to hang up. I swear I will hang up. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? If I get recommended to work or not, because I'm not calling somebody at 1230 at night, you know? It's bad enough you're already going to get bitched out for calling somebody and you're a telemarketer. You know, you call 12.30 night, you're really going to get it. You know? And like I said, she got a call before that at 8.30. But listen, we have this thing on our phones. It's called Mr. Number. You know, whenever a telemarketer calls you, you know, I mean, it got so many different numbers. It, yeah, it, it's ridiculous, but... You can block some of them, you know, whenever, whenever you don't know the number, you just block it and, you know, you hit block and that number can't call you no more. Well, I tell you what, the wifey's got a block list as long as your arm. <laughs> Mine's pretty long, but it's not as long as hers. Uh... And uh, it, it's just crazy, man, because, and you know what, what really makes me, this is what makes me mad is, they won't tell you what they need, you know what I mean? Listen, if you're going to call me and I ask you, what do you need, and you tell me it's confidential, well, I'll be here. Some bitch is confidential. If he's here or not, too, then. You know what I mean? I will not. I don't care. I do not care. If you tell me it's confidential, I'm telling you it's confidential if he's here. I've done it a million times already. <laughs> but yeah, it, a thing that's really got to me that I noticed. <clears throat> is I think it's probably been for about the last year these son of the bitches have cell phone numbers you know you get used to knowing you know the first digits of a cell phone number like in Pennsylvania in the 724 area code you know what I mean 208-812-912-970 562, them are all cell phone numbers, you know what I mean, in the 724 area code. Now, you know that I've had, oh shit, just almost seen a wreck, y'all. <laughs> but I've had, you know, probably 10 of them in the last year call me 
on a damn cell phone number. You know, because if I see a cell phone call me, I just think, hey, maybe it's one of my uh, friends got a new number or one of my brothers or, you know what I mean? Somebody in the family got a new number. So I'll answer it. And I'll be damned if it's not a telemarketer. You know? And I think that that's why they did it. You know? If I want to get somebody to answer a phone, <laughs> you know, and to where they don't think it's a telemarketer, I'd call them from a cell phone number too. You know, like if I call you from a landline and you think it's a telemarketer, you're not going to answer, you know what I mean? But if you see a cell phone number, you can bet your sweet ass that you're not going to think it's a telemarketer, you know? But now, I won't answer your number, you know what I mean? I don't give a shit if that number ain't in my phone. I will not answer it. I will not. Ball lady, she's funny, man. Love her to death, but she is, she, she's crazy sometimes. Listen, if my phone's laying there, right? Damn thing. And the number go and the number comes up, it's not in my phone. I'm like, I ain't answer that. She said, give it here, I'll answer to you hell it. <laughs> Gonna piss me off. But she don't care, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, y'all, uh, I mean I ain't got too much more to say about the telemarketers, but uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about here, I'm going to be all making a video either later or tomorrow or something. Um, well, I got a couple more to do tonight if I get any raining when I get home. It's raining right now down here. Uh, we're going to talk about that red tide, you know, it's killing all the fish and that. So if y'all want to, you know, do some research so you can follow me or uh, just listen to what I got to say on it. Uh, it's up to you. But it's some dangerous shit, man. If you ain't heard about it, make sure you tune in to hear what I got to say. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, harmful to humans, but man, it's, it's killing our marine life, you know? So, all right, y'all. You know what to do, leave me a comment. You want to see something, hear something, you know, see something down here in Florida, I'll go check it out. You want to have a discussion, let me know what you want to have it on. I'll do research. Just leave a comment below and let me know. Smash that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, hit that ding a linger. You know, turn your notifications on that way. It notifies you when I upload it will ding a ling a ling. <laughs> you already know it don't, but I say that every time, so you'll get used to it. <laughs> but uh no, I will let you know it will say schizo upload a video, that's all. And uh for now, you already know, I'm out.